Have you been studying the way of the blade? Because this one Arizona man has, and yeah, it didn't really turn out well for him. This story about this guy trying to use a katana to fight off the cops did not go well at all. And I, I'm reading through the entire snippet, the articles, watch the video. It's a trip. It's not... It, 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 you, you have to like... I'm at a loss at words. Like, it's sad. Like, at first I wanted to kind of laugh it off because I thought, oh, it's just some kooky person. They probably tased him. Nah, he got shot down. So anyway, the video got released yesterday, but this interaction happened a month ago. And as you could see in the little snapshot right here, doing his best impersonation from whatever samurais he saw in the Shogun show, that's for sure. But I just don't think this was a person in their right mind, maybe? So basically it was a hotel. It looks more like a rundown motel, but regardless, uh, 911 was called probably from the staff uh, that there was a guy yelling and waving their sword around in the parking lot. When the cops came up, he took out his sword and charged at them at, before uh, saying some crazy stuff, which we'll get to in a second. After being shot, the cops tried to give him first aid. Sadly, he passed away on the scene. Yeah, and this is the picture of the man. Real life is always going to be stranger than fiction, but let, let's let's watch how this transpired. Hello, I work over here at the Days Inn, and I just have customers complaining that there's a guest here that's waving around a sword and screaming. So is he in the room doing this, or is he outside the room doing this? He's outside, like, just right outside of his room, just, like, screaming, waving a sword. So clearly, he was being a nuisance to everyone who was most likely trying to sleep or just relax for the night. And, yeah, that would prompt any staff member to call the cops whenever a lunatic is going nuts, waving around a sword in the middle of the parking lot. As you can see, he's practicing his samurai skills in the parking lot, waving around, channeling his inner mall ninja. I don't even know if the katana was real. Maybe it could have been a replica, a fake or whatnot, but... You never know, man. There's some crazies in the night, <laughs> especially around motels. I ain't taking my chances. I am, I'm, I'm staying in the car or whatever. I'm getting like a major hiccup. But yeah, uh, cops show up and it goes from crazy to Arkham Asylum insanity. The, the, what he starts babbling about, it, it, it makes me think that he was on something. You gotta call us. Yeah. Saying that you're screaming. Waving the, the sword and stuff. Screaming. What's that? I swear I'm not screaming. No, that's fine. I mean, I didn't hear you scream when I pulled up. That's just what the call is, is listen referencing. Listen to me now. Listen to me, Owens. Now you listen to me, dog. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, what's, what's going I'm on, dude? I'm trying to achieve something. Huh? I'm trying to achieve greatness in the time. It's just not allowed in the United States. Well, I mean... We got people calling. I mean, I'm not telling you not to achieve that. I mean, the guy is slurring his speech. He, when the cops show up, he's got his sword down as if he's the next shogun of Japan or something like that. He, he really is seeing something else that we're not seeing. So I, uh, there, there's clearly some sort of influence going on. I don't know if it's a manic episode, but I personally think he just on LSD or just drunk off his mind because the things he's babbling here like greatness in the katana is that not allowed in the United States yeah there, there are actual dojos where you can practice that a mo dirty motel parking lot is not it maybe I shouldn't call it dirty but still I mean it looks pretty nice uh, the motels I've been to uh, some of them are not so nice unless somebody comes to me and is willing to kill me I'm not willing to kill them that's how it should be I agree 100 percent but what we're trying to understand but if they all is willing to kill me and if they don't accept that they're willing to kill me they're willing to kill me. no i mean that's not the case man like i said we're here to see what's going on all right it's not every day that somebody's out at a at a hotel waving a I'm you know a katana you know what i mean you're what i'm related to dionysus dionysus the greek god of alcohol, <laughs> of fertility, and insanity. So this guy is really laying out thick that he's just drunk off of his mind. I, 
And and the thing he was babbling about, I won't kill unless someone comes to kill me and whatnot. Uh, you'll see on and later on in the video, he's the one who starts the violent approach. So again, not he's he doesn't have a uh, a good set of marbles up there right now. So 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 what are you doing? I'm practicing my way with the katana so I can become better at combat. Are you not able to do that in in the comfort of your room? Yeah, leave it there, dude. Can do it. it down, I'm telling man. you right now. Put it down. Don't don't. I'll explain what happens. He, as you could see, he started his charge. He charges, wave, stumbles a bit, waving the katana all over the place, and he gets shot two times, I believe, and he falls down. And afterwards, the cops try to give him first aid, doesn't make it. And I just find it. Like, it started off funny when I first started seeing it. And I thought, oh, he'll just get tased and that'll be it. Nah, they, they shot him. And it was, it just became sad. It really is sad. Guy was just drunk out of his mind in some motel, practicing his sword skills and whatnot. And then he ends up bleeding to death in said parking lot of the motel. Yeah, it's, it's really a sad way to go, man. I, like... My brain is split. Like one side, it was like he he wasn't that much of a threat. The co the cops were smart enough to have distance and take even more distance when he pulled like take his sword out samurai style. Uh, I felt like maybe they could have tased him, but my other side is like there's aggression, there's a weapon. They were justified in using lethal force, but it's just sad all around man it's an unfortunate thing there's also another vantage point you could see from the other cop's body cam and that one you could see he's more stumbling even there of your room yeah leave it there dude don't do it put it down I'm man. You right now put it down don't, don't. Yeah, and that's another thing. He uh, makes whoosh sword noises as he begins his charge. Um, God, it's such a weird feeling. I, I, a part of me wants to like pity laugh, and another part's like, damn, damn, man. Like, uh, I know he plays stupid games, win stupid prizes, or whatnot, but like, it's like one of those that that trend whether you see on tiktok or youtube shorts uh, of people like oh this is my co the cops need to see my papers so i give it to them fast that kind of thing except this this is real life man now i'm gonna show you the news report for one second and i want you to see something odd about this all after phoenix police officers shot and killed a man that they say was using a samurai sword outside the cactus park precinct phoenix police tell us tonight that man allegedly ran towards officers with that sword does that news report seem odd to you because they said police precinct 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 pre police headquarters uh when we know that that our guy was outside a motel taken down so what gives? What happened here? Well, I'm going to let you know that Arizona apparently has seen this case before. Apparently, a lot of samurai have decided to land in Arizona and take their sword skills against the police there. Yeah, this is another case of an Arizona man charging at cops, which happened a year ago. This one is a bit different because he kind of seemed... Well, I wouldn't say sane, but like he wasn't drunk or anything. And he was doing this outside when there was a lot of cops. So he clearly was trying to start something here. Police say officers responded right outside their Cactus Park precinct. A man was allegedly using a sword to hit the security gate. Officers arrived on scene fairly quickly and observed the man with the samurai sword. Uh, they attempted to give this man commands to drop the sword. However, the man uh, began to run towards the officers uh, with the sword in hand, and that's when the officer involved shooting occurred. I just drove by there, and I was like, I even honked at the guy, and he looked, he was stabbing through the fence, he just kept hitting it. It's a white male, brown hair, brown beard, wearing, it looks like he's wearing like a white tank top, black shorts. And, and I, I just was right on the street. Okay, did you see, um, did you see a knife on him? Oh, he's got a samurai sword on him. Oh, samurai sword. Okay. And he's flashing at the fence, stabbing through the fence. And here's the thing. That video has surfaced as well. I found it. It's 
It doesn't have audio, but I'll, I'll walk you through the insane process of what happened. So yeah, you could see here that uh, the cops pull up on Genji over here. He takes out his dragon blade and, well, they gave him multiple warnings, but then he charges at them and... He goes down. The cops then try to give him first aid. And again, just as our motel guy did not make it by the time he got to the hospital. So I don't know what it is with these Reddit moderators, Discord moderators, thinking that they could take on cops with a samurai sword. This one, again, it, it didn't. they didn't really get to talk to him. There was no audio about that. So we don't know if he actually was on drugs or having a manic episode. But he was clearly picking a fight uh they told him multiple times to stop trying to use your samurai sword to like cut their fence or whatnot uh he just didn't listen they gave him multiple warnings and then he tried charging at them this one was way more the last guy the guy in the parking lot he was stumbling while he was waving around making sword noises this guy he, he definitely was out for blood he, he was going on a full-on rampage towards the cop so it, it, it's sad. I, I just don't know what it is. Like, uh, it reminds me of the Always Sunny in Philadelphia thing where Mac, again, a giant guy thinking he could use a katana to somehow beat a person with a gun, but go left, go right, you're still going to get shot. It's you, This ain't some sort of anime where you're going to deflect all the bullets and teleport behind them, nothing personal, kid, and slash and be done with it. No, it's not happening. Clearly, these people are not of the right mind, and it's unfortunate that they paid with their life, but again, stupid prizes, you know, it, it, it happens. Stay safe out there. There's a lot of crazies. I, I see them a lot whenever I'm taking the subway. Uh, but you tend to see them anywhere you go at any time. So just be safe out there wherever you're watching this from. And just know that, um, yeah, don't uh, bring a sword to a gunfight. So, yeah, that's all there is. <laughs>